Hey guys, so the fifth year anniversary over on Global Dokkan is basically at a conclusion here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at everything that we got. And I'm just going to talk about the anniversary as a whole and my thoughts on what we actually received during this anniversary. So we have the fifth year for Global pulled up, we have the fifth year for JP pulled up, and we also have the fourth year for Global pulled up as well. Because a lot of people I've seen are comparing the fourth to the fifth year and saying the fourth is better than the fifth year. Um, we'll get into that later, but um, I just want to first take a look at the Global versus JP uh, anniversaries. Now, the one thing that we haven't yet gotten yet on Global is in part three, actually, is it going to tell us this? Probably not. Uh, there was a top grossing, it might help tell us in here. Yeah, it wasn't a top grossing thing, but it was like a, a thank you for like your support or whatever thing, because they didn't actually, JP didn't actually hit top grossing for the Rosé and Broly banner. So they went ahead and gave them, you know, 30 stones, Hercule statues, coins, stuff like that. Uh, on Global, we haven't gotten this. And to be honest, I don't know if we will. Um, we could take a look at what Global got during part three to make up for that, I guess, is we got these extra missions and we hit top grossing, which is like, I think we got like 14 stones for top grossing on the, on the legendary banner. Um, and I feel like a lot of this stuff, like this, the extra missions, well, not the extra missions, this and the, the coin shop refresh. I don't know if it's right. Yeah. This, is this it? Yeah. 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 The extra coin shop rewards that they refresh and they put in there and this uh, extra daily missions, I think is basically taking the place of this. So I don't know if Global's gonna end up getting this or not. I would assume no, but you know, we might, we might end up getting that. Um, total amount of stones received for JP was 824. Total amount of stones received for Global uh, right now is 849. So Global did get more stones overall. It's what we thought was gonna happen. Um, and there were very, very slight differences in the actual contents of the anniversary that we got on Global as compared to JP. The first one being this. JP didn't actually get this. I didn't realize that until recently. Um, the reward boost actually, you know, having the amount of uh, time it takes to refresh the uh, boost feature actually is a pretty big deal because it lets you take advantage of, you know, basically playing two stages at once. Um, so I kind of like that a lot. Uh, what else did uh, Global get that JP didn't get? I think in terms of part one, that was it. Uh, oh, obviously, obviously we got the rank growth packs, which actually were a pretty pretty big deal. <laughs> they give you box space and stuff. And then also this double god packs, which gave um, you know some crazy things like battlefield currency. You can get orbs. Meat was in there. Keys were in there. So a lot of good stuff you can get in these. Obviously, this is like mostly free to play or not free to not free to play. Blah, blah, blah. Not free to play friendly whatsoever, but you know, a little bit of an additional boost for people who are willing to buy these packs over on Global. Um, and then that's pretty much for part one, everything else is relatively the same. Uh, Global did end up getting more of these tickets though, uh, you know, on the normal banner, not the 55 ticket, the um, it's just the fifth year banner. Global did end up getting more tickets there. Uh, boss Rush, yep, this lease event, uh, everything else was pretty much exactly the same. So over in part two, I believe everything was the same as well. Let me just quickly scan through this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So JP didn't get the friend summon banner, which is actually a massive, <laughs> massive deal. Like, uh, now, uh, you can't really farm up these friend points in a time, um, in like a timely manner for this banner being live because this banner only up for like what is that 20 days 21 days or something um i think this banner is probably one of the best things that things that's ever happened to global like to be 100 honest i think i ended up getting like over 50 grand kai's and like 90 sleepy kai's or something from this and i got like like 500 million zenny or something it was actually like insane like <laughs> Like, I don't have to do easy A's for Zenny anymore. I don't have to, uh, I would never have to summon on, like, any Kai banners ever again. I'm pretty much set for months and months, maybe even years, like, after summoning on this banner. It's actually crazy how good this was. So, this is honestly, in my opinion, the biggest difference in the anniversaries between Global and JP was the fact that we got this, and this was insane. Uh, everything else, I think, is the same. Yeah, yeah, everything else should be the same. 
I mean, JP did get these collab tickets, but these were really not the best things to summon on. They, they got you like old Dokkan Fest exclusives, which could be good for new, newer players if you're willing to spend on this. But this is not, um, these are not free to play. You have to, you have to purchase these with, with actual money. So, uh, part three, I think there was, the only difference was the, uh, um, the coin stuff. But the coin stuff actually was pretty good. Uh, they put new packs in there. They were like premium packs with like orbs and they refreshed the Kai's, which is nice. So, I mean, overall, Global definitely did have a better fifth year anniversary than JP did. But for the most part, in terms of the content that was accessible to uh, us as players, you know, they don't really go out of their way to change the anniversaries too much. I think um, the one thing they could have done to make this like anniversary seem and feel a lot better than it did was what I was talking about during, I think, the, the countdown where I was like, oh, I would hope they do this was either give us Extreme Super Battle Road in Part 3 or Chain Battle in Part 3. And what's odd about Chain Battle is that they actually have a tab in the Baba Shop labeled Secret Treasure Chest, which is what you are rewarded for for doing the Chain Battle event. And it's just been sitting there. And it's sitting there for like a month, over a month now. Uh, and when you click on it, it's like, oh, this feature's coming soon. It's like, okay, well, based off of that, it was kind of apparent to me that they would push that out for the anniversary. So, like, why would they even put that in there now? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's just sitting there for over a month. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe during the next celebration, we'll end up getting that. I think the next celebration is going to end up being a Kef the Kefla celebration. Maybe they'll add Chain Battle in there, which would honestly be pretty cool. Uh, because then we'll have Chain Battle accessible before the download celebration, which will sort of put us on even footing with JP because I also do think we're going to get the link update prior to the download celebration as well over on Global, which is going to be huge. So uh, overall, uh, we'll look at part one. Let's take a look at the four year anniversary and we'll take a look at what the four year anniversary did uh, that we did not do in the fifth year anniversary. This is sort of similar to what we had, you know, everyone completes goals and you get stuff for free. Uh, missions, yeah. Uh, this is just uh, social media stuff. All this stuff is kind of, you know, the same exact thing we got. Now this stage, uh, I guess you can directly compare this to like the Frieza entry exam sta uh, special event they had, but this one was once a day and the Frieza one, I literally cleared the entire Frieza event in like 20 minutes, N not even 20, like 15 minutes. Cause I just waited for them all, all the stages to unlock and then I just, I just swept through it and cleared it all in like 15 minutes. This one, you obviously just had to do every day. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't like a, you know, super difficult stage or you just went through it, it took like two minutes a day um, but it gave you tickets and coins and stuff so this goes cool um, story event for Giru uh, obviously we had three or no sorry we had two story events uh, in the uh, fifth year anniversary so uh, a little bit more story content I guess you could say for the fifth year what else uh, this is the one of the big differences um, and Regular easy A's. So we got a regular easy A for Goku Jr. As you can see here, we did end up getting stones, we ended up getting orbs, like all the stuff you would normally get for a normal easy A. On the fifth, in the fifth year anniversary, all we did was get easy A areas, uh, extreme Z areas. So we got, you know, the extreme Z area for the uh, kid Broly, the kid Vegeta, and Rad, so I supposed to make videos on. Uh, and an easy A, um, extreme Z area for the Zamasu Goku unit. So. While that was cool, and the, you know the first uh, easy A for an LR unit to come to global, I do think this anniversary would have benefited a lot from uh, a traditional easy A. I don't know who it would have been. Maybe they could have just pushed up. I don't know. Um, whoever, whoever's left, one of the I guess a Super Saiyan 3 Broly or something. I, I have no idea. Um, maybe maybe pushed up one of those. So. Uh, could have been cool to see that. Boss Rush we, we got, obviously the Dokkan uh, banners. Now this is something else we did not get in the uh, fifth year, was all the type banners returning for like the one time only summon, which gets you a ton of orbs. That would have been nice to have. Uh, the reason why they probably didn't do that this year is because of the, uh, the the unit's awakening and getting Dokkan awakenings on these banners. But I don't know, I still think it would have been nice to have these here. Then a bunch of returning story events and uh, Super Battle Road Open. All this, we had this also during the fifth year, so that's pretty much it for part one. Now, part two is where things get a lot different between both anniversaries. Uh, I think if we take a look at, um, you know, more missions, blah, 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 blah. Dragon Ball Hunt, and this is where things start to get different. The Wish Upon an Eternal Dragon event. This is what actually allowed you to unlock the raid event. And, you know, it, this obviously was nothing special either. You just go through, I think it was like seven stages to for all the seven Shadow Dragons. And then once you complete this, you unlock the raid, you know, defeats in Shenron. Uh, we got another easy A. Look at this. 
So we had two traditional easy A's, getting you stones, getting you orbs. For Vegeta Jr., also a really good free-to-play unit. I would say, honestly, the Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. are probably better than the Kid Broly and Kid uh, Vegeta and Raditz, just in terms of the teams they can be used on. I think these probably are a little bit better. I mean, it's comparable. Um, new Dokkan Punch stages is whatever. We had this in, in the fifth year as well, a special, uh, ver uh, special edition of the uh, Battlefield. Um, and then let's go over to the raid. There's a, yeah, the dragon, the saddle dragon hunt. Here we go. Okay. So actually, actually, no, was that a different event? The Shenron one? Yeah, this was a different event, I think. Wish upon a Oh yeah, this is going through all seven for the normal Dragon Balls. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. And then I think the raid was tied to this one. Yeah, this was a year ago. The raid was tied to this one, and then once you completed all the all the stages in this one, then you unlock the raid. So you get to go through all these, and then uh, you unlock this. Yet another <laughs> ECA, but this one was not a normal one. This one uh, was here to get you basically the Kid Goku. Then you go down, and look at this. You get orbs, and it's just all these rewards. Like, I don't know, total rewards, what do you get? You be, look at this, of all types. <laughs> 50 sleeping kais, you get 5200 orbs of every of smalls of every type. This is enough to rainbow at least a like a unit and a half basically. Pretty much of every single type. That's crazy. That's crazy good. No stones, but keep in mind like the, the amount of stones that we got during this anniversary was insane. Um so we can get rid of this. Anything else? Got this. I think it's part of a social media thing. Uh How many stones did we get in total in this anniversary? 936. So compared to the fifth year, uh, we ended up getting, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot more. That's what, 86 more? No, 87 more? So, I mean, that's pretty significant. Um, I, I don't know, man. Let's take a look at this again. So we got 100 stones, 30 stones, and then we got first place here. So it's pretty comparable. First here, first here, and then yeah, I mean, we only got 16 less top grossing rewards in terms of the actual stones we got from that. But I don't know, I feel like to me, the content that was available during the four year was more impressive. Like this was cool. The raid event obviously is really cool. Two traditional easy A's, which got you a lot more rewards overall. I feel like the amount of orbs given out during the fifth year, or sorry, the four year was higher than the, than the, the fifth year. Um, and just the, the amount of content that was spread out during the fifth year anniversary felt like really not balanced. So like most of the stuff happened during the part one, obviously. like. Look at this, just all this stuff is happening during part one. And then part two, uh, part two wasn't terrible. Part two had uh, this, it had, obviously this is the big thing. It's not content, but I mean, this, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this this makes up for a lot of people's complaints, honestly, with this anniversary. Um, it obviously depended on you having a lot of friend points that were ready to be used, but I, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this for free. Um, you know, extra stages added to this, this, we got streams the areas for this, and a banner, but I don't really care about banners. Um, I don't know. And then in part three, literally, I finished part three in like an hour. <laughs> literally finished it in like an hour. All you do, this is the only con. Actually, I didn't do this one yet. That's that's, that's, that's a lie. Um, I did this in like an hour. Not even like less than an hour. Um, easy A this LR. Goku. It's really easy to LR him, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I'm just saying, like in terms of like other things to do, there really isn't that much. And this, I mean, uh, I haven't done this yet, but this is going to take me like 30 minutes to do. That's it. Um, so I don't know. Part three really seems like they could have put chain battle or extreme through battle right in here as well, and been like, okay, well, you know, you, you guys, you guys wanted this. Obviously, you, most people are aware this is on JP already. So um, here's a bonus that you guys are going to get on global. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, and that would be a good way to tie the anniversary, you know, into a conclusion because that would have given us a lot more to do here as we move into you know the filler celebration before the download celebration. So. Uh, overall, I don't think the fifth year anniversary was really that bad. It's not as bad as people were saying it that it was. I just think it could have either spread out the events better, the content more. Maybe you don't do... I don't know, man. It's, maybe you... Mm, 
Maybe you don't have the stages added to this until part three. I don't know. Uh, maybe spread out stuff in part one more. But it, I don't, it just felt like once you finish part one, part two and part three were kind of just like whatever. Like I don't really care about them too much. Uh, obviously the rewards were very good. Uh, this definitely wasn't a bad celebration overall. I would say it was a pretty fair anniversary. Uh, I think the four-year anniversary was definitely. Um, um, I don't know what to say. Like the fourth year anniversary was definitely more packed with events, packed with more rewards, packed with more things that felt rewarding for doing like the raid. And um, I don't know. In terms of like this compared to the other anniversaries, like the third year, I think this is probably a better anniversary than the third year anniversary, even though I don't really remember it too well. Uh, you guys can let me know down below what you think about this. Uh, again, I'm not saying this is a bad anniversary. I'm just saying it did feel a little bit lackluster in terms of the content and, you know, things you could actually do in the game as compared to something like the four year. Because I think the four year head and shoulders was a better anniversary. So that's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.